guys welcome back today I'll be showing you this look that I'm doing today the first thing I did is I concealed my lids I'm using my Maybelline instant age rewind concealer I'm adding this on my lids to block out the darkness that I do have on my lids that my eyeshadows are extremely bright on it also I do have a little bit of darker lids so this also cancels that out as well then I'll take my wet and wild eyeshadow palette and take this skin tone shade right here and add that on top of this concealer to set it and also this will make it easier to blend the eyeshadows once I apply them I'll take my Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and use this orange and start adding this into my crease and to do this step I'll take a tapered blending brush and add that directly in my crease and I'm gonna build this shade up some Once I have that orange down, I'll go in with this yellow and another blending brush and start blending out this orange that I apply down. With the same tapered blending brush, I'll take this shade from the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette and add this right below the orange. And what I'm doing right now is creating that cat eye shape. I'm elongating my outer corner and I'm dragging it out like this. And since my eyes are not already that cat eye shape, like my eyes are really shaped right across. They're not really high up. So I do want to take my eyeshadow and make it all look like my eye is going up. I want to motion my brush in this slanted position so that I can get that cat eye shape. And, and I'll bring this all the way in. All the eyeshadows that I'm using, I'm bringing them all the way to my inner corner. Going back in and blending out that brownish burgundy shade. To add some more depth to my eye, I'm going in with my hot chocolate from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And adding that on my tapered blending brush and putting that right on my outer corner and blending that in with that nice brown burgundy shade. And I'm keeping the same motions and doing the same shape with all of these eyeshadows. And I'll start bringing that in further into my crease. After that, I'll take a makeup wipe and swipe away. Now it's time to cut the crease. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my brush first. So you know we got nice flexible bristles. Back in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I'm using this concealer brush and cutting out my crease. So I'm gonna pop that off. Yes, I took the sponge off. I felt like the sponge was up using way too much product. Um, it was cool at first, but then, you know, it just mm, just wasn't that useful. It turns out to be, well, you know, I like it better like this. Putting that on my brush. And what I've been finding out that works really good for me lately is tapping instead of swiping. I'll swipe, but I'll start tapping first just to print out where I want to swipe. Once we've cut the lid, I'll go in with my Mayo Makeup Pigment Stack and use this beautiful bright orange shade. And that will be the shade all over my lid. We'll be adding that on a flat shader brush and lightly tapping this on the eye. I want to evenly distribute this color on my eyeshadow base because what I did notice is that if I add too much at one time and I wipe it away, it could potentially patch up. So I just want to use it as if I'm setting my eyeshadow base. Oh man, I forgot to uh, blend this little area. So I'm taking a little small blending brush and I'm taking hot chocolate again and I'm adding that right on the outer corners mostly and then dragging it in just so I can blend between the orange and 
this brown. And what I find out later is that this red shade ended up blending those two together perfectly but i'll show you how i do that i just want to do it step for step to get it exactly where i got here so we'll just continue patting on my lid this pigment once i get about right here i'll take my small detailed shader brush with the same amount of pigment i'm just gonna go close to those lines so I get some nice clean lines up there. And to blend the orange and the brown out, I'll take my Festivals palette by Juvia's Place and use the shade Isifa and put that on a small blender shade and start applying this right in the middle and blend this right on top of each other. With my Rimmel Face Trio, I'm taking this highlighter shade, but first, We'll spray it and then I'll add it to my eye. Taking my brush that I applied the orange on with and blending that out. Now it's time for liner. I'm taking my matte black liquid liner and I'm adding this. And I'm pretty much just going to follow the line like I did here. And to get this blue outline I have on my wing, I'm taking my NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner in Sapphire, and I'm just gonna outline the edge of it. With my Too Faced Glitter Adhesive, I'm taking a good amount of this, putting some of that on my brush, and adding this on like so. I'm dipping into this black glitter that I have, and applying that And I like to do this step in sections so that I can get better payoff with my glitter. Once I've done that, I'll go in with a big fluffy brush and take off the excess glitter that crumbled onto my eye. Going in with a makeup wipe and cleaning under my eyes. Before finishing with my eyes, I'll go ahead and do my face. First, I'll prime my face. rub it in from foundation today i'm taking l'oreal's infallible pro glow foundation in 208 and look this looks more like my shade y'all we're just gonna add it on like i normally do with all my other foundations and to conceal under my eyes i'll use the maybelline instant age rewind concealer in sand sable add some of that my under eyes with my concealer brush I'll add this doing the bridge of my nose the middle of my forehead and also my chin I'll go ahead and blend this out and then with a good trusty my Maybelline face powder and tapping that into my skin first I'll start buffing away all this translucent face powder. Then with a smaller brush, I'll wipe it away. Back in with my Rimmel Face Trio in Golden Bronze, I'm taking this contour shade. I'll add this on with an angle brush and I'll begin to contour. I am gonna go a little bit more heavier on the contour today. I feel like it's called for. Why not? Blending that out. Then we'll do around my forehead a little not too much then i'll do my nose lightly taking my milani luminoso blush and adding that to my cheeks i really like the luminescent feel that this blush gives me it kind of gives me a really nice soft peachy tone but also a very refreshing feel to my face and i like that about this blush and for highlighter today, I'm using this Milani highlighter in Sun Glow. And look how beautiful this is. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna add this on dry first and see how this works. And it's working beautifully. This is so, so beautiful. Oh my God, look at this. Holy crap. So I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more. Beautiful. So beautiful, look at this. Mmm, I know y'all agree with me. I know y'all see this highlight. Then I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose with this and 
on the tip of my nose and then my cupid's bow I, I feel like i need to just put this everywhere just because it's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing i'm gonna add some right here on top of my brow bone just to give me that wet look because it's doing the wetness for me and i'm loving it going back in with my zulu palette i'm taking a pencil brush i'm adding a good amount of this on my pencil brush tapping off the excess and adding that right on my lower lash line and then with my juvia's place festivals palette i'll go back in with the shade isifa and add that right above this yellow well it's pretty much covered the yellow so yeah it's gonna be red now now i'm taking this black eyeliner and lining my waterline and i'm also tight lining with this After I line my waterline and my tight line, I'm going back in with my hot chocolate eyeshadow and a definer brush and putting that as close as possible to my lash line. And I'm gonna do the same for the other eye. And to finish up with the eyeshadow, I'm taking this yellow from my Maya Makeup Pigment Stack and I'm adding this in my inner corner. After my eyeshadow, I'm adding on my mascara. doing my bottom lashes as well and for lashes today I'm taking these eye lure lashes and these are so beautiful and fluffy uh, I looked at the package to make sure that it wasn't open because there's one of these are falling off of the thing but as long as they're not touched bro I'm pretty good off of it you feel me like I can go ahead and go get that you know oh look this is so cute they have it labeled on the package left eye and right eye so you know what eye it is so we're gonna just start off with my right eye because you know right eye gang 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 so let's just size this whole lash I'm gonna take one of these little pieces off and it's gonna be this one right here and add that on with my duo glue These lashes, oh my god, look at them. Look at them just, just acting all beautiful. Look at them just, oh yes. Once I've added on these gorgeous lashes, they're so beautiful. I love these lashes. I'll go ahead and apply some lips. I wanna start off with the lip liner. I'm using Perfect Brown by LA Girls. After I line my lips, I'll go in with my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick and Fighter and fill in my lips. And now that I'm done with my face, I'll finish off with a setting spray. The setting spray that I'm trying out this time is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And I'll just miss this. Ooh, I really like the pumps it's a really good amount of product spraying out at once and how much it spreads across the face you know what i'm gonna try while my face is drying i'm gonna spray it one more time light little spray dry it up real quick and add some more highlight on top of this oh yes just made it even more blinding Ooh. And this is the completed look you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also you guys, I've been trying new things. So if you guys can drop what your favorite products are in the comments down below, that'll be very helpful in my adventures in finding better products. Follow me on all of my social medias. I have Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. They're all at my name, Santina Marie. If you guys did like this video, please subscribe to become a part of my little family that I do have here on YouTube. I upload videos every Monday, so you'll always have something new on Mondays. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye, guys.